Welcome back to the CBC Squash Courts. I'm here with the captain of the Zimbabwe national team, Marvin, um, and I'm here to ask him a few questions. He's just come back from an intense game against Egypt. And so what did you think of it going in? Obviously these are the world's best players, the, the shot ends, they're everyone's favourite. How did that make you feel and how did you cope with it? Yeah, so uh, before I started playing, when I was watching uh, the Egyptian team um, warming up, um, I was a bit nervous because uh, Egypt is uh, one of the top squash players uh, in the world. Uh, but when I managed to get on court and warming up with them, and uh, when I gained uh, the rhythm of the game, then I realized that uh, uh, I can actually fight and uh, play um, much better. Yeah, I think that game was a classic example of scores can be deceiving. Because although it was a 3-0 defeat on paper, if you look at the points, it was really neck and neck. And it was down to the wire. It was small mistakes there, small mistakes there. And well, that's only to be expected. Now, not everyone is perfect. But how do you get to that kind of skill when you're holding your own against some of the best in the world? What does it take? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, so actually, um, I'm one of the most uh, kept uh, Zimbabwe squash players. Um, I played um, a lot of tournaments uh, regionally and uh, internationally. So um, I really managed to, to absorb uh, that pressure. Um, um, as I was playing, um, I was leading like most of uh, most of the games. I was leading then. Uh, I think because of um, of uh, fitness, uh, I started dropping out uh, some points. Like I started making um, unforced mistakes, which ended up costing me. But I was actually leading on most of the matches. So I think if I work on my fitness, then I'll really play much better um, on the next games. Yeah, it's small things like that. Um, but in your role as now as a captain. You're leading a fairly young side into this tournament. Um, as, we're, as we're filming right now, um, Ryan is playing. Um, he's the second best in the national squad and he's aged only 16. Um, what are you hoping for? What do you expect of him at such a young age? Um, yes, yes. Um, yeah, it's, it's actually um, a good question because when, um, when I, I started playing squash, um, Ryan was very young and uh, he grew up in the squash environment. It's, uh, it's actually a good thing to see him now playing uh, for the seniors. Uh, he's uh, one of the promising uh, squash players. And um, I think in a couple of years to, to come, he's really going to be one of the best squash players in the country. And um, like what he said, uh, most of our team is comprised of young players because we want the continuity of the squash. Uh, he's absolutely right. Um, he's been an example for all of them. He takes them for training, he's leading them by example, um, and wish you the best of luck.